Yes. <gasps> the chip yes. the chip is here. Come on. Yes. Okay. It's, it's difficult. We can't hear you, Father. <laughs> <laughs> To understand, it's about a joke. <laughs> huh? I can't hear you, Father. <laughs> Yesterday I couldn't attend to a class, but uh, 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 I just watched the class before. It was amazing topic. Yesterday, oh, ladies yes. and gentlemen, how are you doing? Yeah. Oh, now Good we evening. can hear the teacher. There we go. How are you? How's everything? How was your work great today? Teacher. Everything good? Yeah. It's yeah. good. All right. Hey. Good to see you guys. Good to see you. And what about you, teacher? Uh, it's been better today because I got to sleep. Yesterday, I was really, really tired. Like, oh. extremely, extremely tired. Oh, my God. So, yeah. No, I, I, I'm pretty glad I have, you know, I have a chance to sleep today. So, so yeah. So how was uh how's the weather over there? Did you get any rain today? No. Yes. Oh yeah, it's in Here, nice, here, no? here in Chalate, it's raining, teacher. It's raining in Chalate. Yes. Yesterday was impossible to connect. Uh, there was no power in the town. Okay. I hope right. today no problem right. with the energy. All right, that's awesome. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Okay. All right. All right. Anyways, guys, uh, it's good to see you. Give me one second, guys. Okay. Uh, all right. So, guys, so uh, we're going to continue talking about classes. Welcome back. Hey, uh, I actually thought that it's uh, someone new. I think, Jenny, you had your camera on for the first time. <laughs> Why did you turn them off? How are you, Jenny? <laughs> we're welcome, Evelyn. Welcome, Nicole. Good to see you. <laughs> hey guys, how are you doing with the platform? Where are you in the platform? I'm not welcome. Ah. <laughs> You're not what? Uh, am I not welcome? No, no, no. Where are you in the platform? Like, how are you? How is your progress in the platform? Oh, oh my problem is I'm missing platform. some exercise. I'm not, I'm not too good. From not, what section? Not too good. In the number three, I began, but with no success. Okay. All right. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Um. Anyway, so we're going to continue, guys, because uh, yesterday we were talking about non-classes, right? Yes. And I think, I think some of them were, you know, some of you might have gotten a little bit confused, right? But... Uh, yesterday, I gave you an exercise so you could practice, and most of you got it right, okay? So who can tell me, guys, you know, what a noun clause is? What what idea do you have behind, you know, what a noun clause is? <laughs> you would like to tell me? Words, that serves as a noun in a sentence. In a sentence. Yeah. In uh -huh. and and we can and we can um, change. Okay. The the the, the, the close, the relative close for a noun. In this case, for it, or maybe for here, for him. For maybe. that or Cheyenne, right? You have yeah. to think about 
you have to think about Chan. All right, so guys, let's continue. All right, we're going to continue talking about that. Um, it's very important, guys, that we understand, you know, we differentiate what noun clauses are because we have different type of clauses. I don't know if you knew that, right? So yesterday, I gave you an example such as, um, what was the example that I gave you yesterday? Or you come up with a new example, guys, you know? Yeah. Oh, I, work. Yeah. I was like, what? I like... I like oh, it, right? I, I really like, I like it. it. I really like it. I really like it. I really like, right? Um, huh? How you, how the teacher explains, right? Yes. The topics, correct? Correct. Yes. All right. Correct. So in this case, where do we have, where do we have the noun clause? Now, how the teacher how the teacher the topics. The topics. exactly the teacher right the topics. because all of this right all of this if we if we put it within a box right let's say that we put this you know inside a box make this black all right let me use the white one right i really like <laughs> hold on not, not here maybe here, right? I really like how the teacher explains the topics, right? So if we put all of this together, this phrase together into a box, let me make the best representation of a box that I can do, guys. Or maybe like this, maybe like this, maybe like this, like this, like this. Very nice, your autocad teacher. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. So it's 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 not <laughs> all right. This is a weird box, right? <laughs> but anyways, okay. So yes. we have all right. Let's let's have okay. So this is this is a box, right? So if we put it together. This box, guys, is gonna be called it, right? Mm -hmm. It or that. But okay. Ah, I'm using my mouse, guys. Okay. All right. You got it? Yeah. So it's going to be called it or that, okay? So not, 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 not this part, though. All right. This part right here. Okay, that's better, right? I really like how the teacher okay. explains the topics, okay? Mm -hmm. And that right there, guys, this is referred... Okay, we're gonna draw a small tag here, right? And this is gonna be referred as a noun place. Noun, right? This is working as a noun, okay? All right, understood now, guys? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes. All right, beautiful, beautiful, all right? So, so let's continue. So we have different type of noun clauses. We actually have four different type of noun clauses. Mm -hmm. Who wants to help me read about uh, the first type of noun clause that we got? Me, teacher? Yes, go ahead, Walter. Okay, a types of noun clauses. One, I want to know what all the fuse is about. What all the fuse is about is the noun class and functions in the sentence as the direct object of the verb. Now, the subject is the pronoun I. All right, very good, very good. Okay, so, uh, all right, that is correct. All right, so, hold on guys, Jesus. All right, give me one quick second guys. All right, very good. So the first one, thank you very much. By the way, guys, the pronunciation here is FAS. Repeat FAS. FAS, okay. FAS is about, right? Like FAS. FAS, 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 FAS. Okay, the FAS, what the FAS is about. All right. <clears throat> so basically, guys, 
It's a noun clause and functions in the sentence as the direct object of the verb. So the subject, so we can say, guys, here, right? What what all the fuss, what all the fuss is about, right? This right here is what we call then is, is working as a noun clause. Okay. Because if we say, guys, for example, um, if we take the, for instance, the subject is a pronoun I, right? So let's say that we say, what can we say here? Oh, I guess. Okay. All right. Very good. So if we take, for instance, guys, uh, the sentence, right? I want want to know what the buzz is about, right? So this is right here. Okay. So yes. that what is the main verb that we got here? The main verb is no what? No, okay. So mm -hmm. the verb is no. Okay, so no. what this is saying, yes. what this is saying, guys, imagine this situation. Imagine that I say, okay, let's pretend that let's pretend that your wife still loves you, right? So you can say, My wife loves me. Okay. Right. So let's break down the I'm sure she loves you guys. So let's break down, guys, the parts of speech that we got here. Okay. So again, my wife, right? That would be working as the subject, correct? Well, we can even say my, which would be an adjective, right? The adjective my, right? And then we got wife, which would be, yeah. all right, exactly. That would be the noun. But, yeah. but in general, right, if we talk in general, that is the subject, right? Mm -hmm. Which is, you know, which is a noun, right? What type of subject? It's a noun, right? And then we have the, how do we call verb. this? More. So we have the main verb, main. which what type of verb is it? You know, it's an action verb. But actually that's a stative verb, right? It's stative. Right, it's a stative verb. All right, and then we have me. And what is me? Object, possibly adjective. Object, pronoun. Oh, it's, it's, it's object. Object. of the sentence, object right? If we're, talking about, if we're talking about the same category, of the sentence, right? Of the sentence, that would be object or get the object, object of the pronoun. sentence, right? What type of object is it? Pronoun. It's a uh, it's a pronoun. a pronoun. Yes, it's right. It's what we call the. It's what we call a uh, well. It's a pronoun, right? It's called an object pronoun, right? Yes. So that's what it is. Okay. So I want you to notice something. So we know this is the object, right? So in a sentence, in a sentence, right? We can do, in this sentence, we can do the exact same thing, right? What do we have here? I would be the, I would be the, oh, the subject, right? The subject, yes. Okay, so this would be, okay, hold on, there was a black line, okay. So this would be right here, the subject. Yes. And then over here, want, what is want? The principal verb. This is not the main verb. It's not. Uh, so, so no, 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 maybe it's the object verb. Uh, it's a model verb? No, it's not a model no, verb. No, no, it isn't. Well, if you say, no, it's not working as a model verb. No, uh -uh. it isn't. No, 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 it isn't. Okay. okay, let's leave it right now as a verb, right? What I care about right now is this. Okay, I want to know about no. All uh, right, and no is the verb. This is the yeah. main verb, right? Main verb. All right, so this is the main verb. Okay, so we know that. An object is the receiver of the action, right? And what is the receiver of the action here? 
the receiver the action is it what no right is it the buzz is what it's about what it's all of this phrase right all of these phrase guys absolutely all of this is the object of the sentence okay okay now do we have a subject and a verb here yes or no subject well yes right yeah, we the pause is right yes. period, okay? So uh -huh. yes, so, yeah, that's how so we know that this is a clause, okay? Clause. What type of clause is it? Oh, it works as the object of the sentence. And remember, an object can only be two things. What are the two things that an object can be, guys? What are the only two things that an object can be? The only two things that an object can be. A subject and an object can be only two things. What are they? Guys, that's from basic. And that's no, no. An object, a subject, and an object. Nope. 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 What are the a two pronoun? Things that... A pronoun? Yes. Mm -hmm. A noun. And a noun? A noun. A noun, yes. A noun. All right. So guys, this clause has to be one of those things, right? So this is actually it's working as a noun, right? So it's a noun. At the end of the day, it's a noun, right? That's what we call it a noun clause. All right, sounds good. In this case, in this case is working as the object. Now, let me ask you something. Can we use the object as the subject of the sentence? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes, we can, right? So I want you to do something. I want, I want you to do something, all right? We're gonna, we're gonna come back here. All right, we're gonna come back here and we're gonna do this sentence, right? We're gonna we're gonna work with that sentence. Okay, so all right, so let's have a small exercise, okay? So the exercise that we'll have is this. Okay. So I'm gonna type in I want to know what the pause is about, okay? And I want you we know that this is the subject, right? And this is the main verb. And this is the sub, the, the object, right? So we got the subject, main verb, and this is the object. I want, guys, I want you to use the object, so this right here, as the subject, okay? Try it. I'm gonna okay. give you the answer after that, but you try it. I want everybody to try and do this in your notebook, okay? Give me, guys, give me, try to transform this into the subject of the sentence, okay? Let's go. I wanna show you something. That a noun always works as a noun. This could be Cheyenne, you know? I want to know Cheyenne, right? So Cheyenne could be, can Cheyenne be the subject of the sentence? Yes or no? Yes, yes. right? Yes, yes, yes. Right, very good. So how are you gonna do it? I don't know, but let's try to do it and then I'll explain it to you. Teacher, what, what the fuse is about is what I want fuss, to know. Fuzz, 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 guys, fuzz. Now fuse, fuzz. And the fuzz, I'm sorry. Yes, do, do it well, in the, your notebook. What do the fuzz is about is what I want to know. Do, do it in your notebook first and then I'll ask you, okay? All right. I want to know that. Okay, all right, finish, do it in your notebook and then I'll ask everybody, okay? Yeah, I'll give you one minute. All right, so um, let's see, guys. So who's got who's who wants to share their answer? I think somebody did already. 
So what what is the answer, guys? I want to know that. I want to to know that. Okay. So remember, the exercise was I need this phrase to be the subject, right? Mm -hmm. So the subject needs to go at the beginning of the sentence, right? Yes. So so no, this is not this is this is yeah, you can you can get everything in that is like a box, right? <laughs> Where we're putting all of this, but but no, the exercise is I want this to be the subject. Okay. So who wants who has the answer? <laughs> What the fuss is about is what I want to know. Very good. What the fuss is about, right, is, mm -hmm. and I'm going to capitalize on this, right, is, um, is what I want to know. What I want yeah. to know. All right. Beautiful job. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful job. All right. So we're adding the verb B. Okay. But notice that then we have, all right. This right here, what, what the fuss is about, and this right here, my friends, is also a noun clause, right? A noun clause that is working as what? It's working as a, subject. Subject. as a subject. subject. There you go, right? The this subject. is the subject of the sentence, right? Got it? Okay. What is not the subject? That is not the subject. Fuss is not the subject, right? And then over here is what I want to know. Is this a clause too? What I want to know. Yes. Is what I want to know, right? Yes. All right. And this is working as a dependent clause. Is what I want to know, right? Very good. good job. And this also is working as a dependent clause. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. So you can hey, see, guys. You question. See. Tell me. Uh, why do you why do you use uh is what in middle of the sentence instead of is which or is that? Is that I want you, to know? You can't, no. you can't, you can't yeah. use which. You can't ah. use which because we ah, use okay. which when okay. we have two options, right? Ah, okay, okay, Multiple got it. Multiple options, right? Okay. Yes. But you do have to add the verb be, okay? Okay. All right, that, that is one difference here. Okay. Okay, well, you have to, yeah, it's here, it's here, right? But to join the, if you turn, you know, the object into the subject, you mm -hmm. have to add the verb be. Okay, but it's just guys, okay, the, the point of this exercise was to show you that a noun is a noun regardless, right? So you could say Cheyenne is what I want to know, or you can <laughs> say, well, in this case, that would be is who I want to know, it's right? Who but I want to know, right? I want to know what the fuss is about, right? What the fuss is about is what I want to know, right? Why can't you switch them? Hey, because they are nouns, they're still nouns, right? And you can change the order of a nouns in real life, okay? So number two, well, so any, any, okay. Do we have any questions, guys? Any questions about how to use uh, noun clauses as objects? Or is everything good? Okay, the key in this case is, is uh, a verb to be, teacher. The key in this case is the verb be. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. exactly, guys. Yes. All right, very good. So, um, all right, so number two, who would like to help me read number two? Me, teacher. Go ahead. Uh, she will listen uh, to whatever you recommend. In this sentence, whatever you recommend is the noun clause and functions as a direct object. Okay, all right, so it functions as a direct object. Okay, all right, so uh, okay, let's let's analyze that, okay? So she will listen to whatever you recommend, right? Whatever you recommend is the noun clause and functions as a, functions as a direct object. What is the difference between, uh, it says the direct object of the verb no, yes, and functions as a direct object. Oh, I see why, okay? So the difference here, guys, is that now we do have one simple verb, right? 
So again, basically this is saying the same thing as before. It's working as the object of the sentence, but this is the direct object of the sentence. For, for example, in the first example we had, I want, right? I want to know, right? So because of this, right? Because basically the difference is that we were using those two verbs, right? So it was saying the direct object of the verb, no. But in this case, we don't have the second, the, the first part. So it's, it's basically just saying, hey, this is working as the object too, okay? It's just that we don't have, uh, we don't have a linking verb, right? So she will listen to whatever you recommend, right? So in this case, What's working as the noun clause is again, the object of the sentence, right? She will listen to whatever you recommend. Is it right? Can we, can we use these guys as the subject of the sentence? Let's see. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Why whatever you recommend, she will yes, listen. Yes, that's object. Yes. Okay, so can we say, right? So let's try it. Okay, so let's see. Whatever you recommend, um, whatever you recommend, mm -hmm. is she is, will. Is she? Mm -mm. You can't say that. No. You can what say it's recommend? something, right? She You're gonna have it? to rearrange. You're gonna have to rearrange the sentence. It's something, right? It's whatever something. you recommend, something she will listen to. No. All right, now this is correct. Now you can say whatever you recommend and then comma, she will listen to, all right? This is also correct. Okay, we cannot use guys here, if you don't wanna use the verb be, right? Like if you wanna use the exact same words, you cannot use the verb be, okay? But yeah. Uh, whatever you recommend, she will listen to. And that's how you use it as a subject, okay? All right, so this is very close to the example that I gave you before, so we're gonna skip that over. I hope we are going to wherever the source of the river is. And this sentence, wherever the source of the river is, is a noun clause because yeah. it functions as the object of the preposition <laughs> too, Three. okay? So in this case, guys, it still works as the object, but now it's the object of the preposition to. I hope we are going to. Now, this is very interesting because if we compare the first example, I mean, the second example, she will listen to, well, actually this one, I want to know, right? I want to know. It's very different than I hope we are going to. We are going, we are going to, guys. It's actually, guys, you cannot leave the sentence like that. Okay, it's it's very dependent. Okay, we need the we actually need an object. All right, so this is saying, hey, you know what? The preposition to needs an object. And what object is it? This is all. I, so basically, guys, you can say this. I hope you can say, I hope we are going to um, England. Okay, so this is a subject. subject. This is a noun, and no, guys, it's not the subject. Come on, the subject goes at the beginning. Okay. Yes, yes. It's an object, right? It's an object. Object. Okay. All right, very good. So it's the object of the sentence, right? <clears throat> so. I hope we're going to England. So England is the object of the sentence, right? Now, instead of England, I'm going to say something else. I can say a whole phrase. And that is that is what this is talking about. Instead of saying England, I'm going to say, you know, wherever the source of the river is. All right. Uh, we're going to close. The, with the, okay, there you go. I hope we're going to to wherever the source of the river is, right? So I'm not going to say England anymore. I'm going to say wherever the source of the river is. Got it? Now, if we say, guys, 
I hope we are going to eat. Now, is this is this an object of the sentence? I hope we're going to eat. Is this a subject? I mean, uh, the the. Uh, we are going to eat. Is that an object? We are going to eat. Yes or no? No, because a, a verb cannot be, guys, the object of the sentence. Okay, this guys right here is not the object of the sentence. It can never be, guys, the object of the sentence. Why not? Because it's, a verb. because it's a verb, right? An object can only be a noun or a pronoun, okay? So far, so good, guys? All right. This is advanced English, guys. This is actually advanced English, right? It's not about, it's not about, <laughs> oh, the structure of the sentence anymore, right? No, guys, this is, you could, you could teach pretty cool stuff like this, you know, pretty wild stuff, right? All right, so the parachutist's only flaw was that she balked when giving the signal to jump. All right. Hey, uh, do you want to read this, guys? Do you read? Uh, do you read? Do, do you dare, you know, to read this? Okay. M me? All right, go ahead. The parachutist. Parachutist. Parachutist's only flow was was that she balked Bulk. when given bulk, balked when yes. given the signal to jump. The noun clause that is, that she balked when given the signal to jump functions in this sentence as a subject com complement. All right, exactly. Signal, not signal. Signal. Repeat signal. Huh? Signal. Okay. Yes. Do you know what bulk is, guys? No. All right. This is a synonym for hesitate. Hesitate. Okay. Um, Do you know what hesitate is? Um. Yes. Uh, without Thinking. doing something without. Exactly. Right. That is hesitation. Exactly. Right. So bulk is to hesitate. Okay. So here, can't, right? Without reading the rest, guys. What What is the noun clause? So we have the, right? If we say the, right, the parachutist no. only, the only flaw was that she balked when given the signal to jump, right? So in this case, guys, where is the noun clause? When given the signal to jump, right? That she balked because. when given the signal to jump. Okay, all right. The parachute, and where? What is the subject, guys? The parachutist only flow. Only flow. Is this the subject of the sentence? No. 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 The parachutist. <laughs> the parachutist, okay. Parachutist. Okay. All right. Very good, guys. The parachutist's only flaw is the subject. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This is the subject, okay. So that's why it's saying, hey, you know what? This is working as the complement of the subject, right? So uh, this is working as the object. And therefore, it's a noun, right? It's working as a noun, all right? All right, very good, guys. So those are the four clauses. In general, guys, they work as objects, right? They can work as subjects as well, right? If you change the position. But yeah, you can you can change, you can, you know, um, identify them because they work as the subject of a sentence. Now, there's also, guys, something that they have in common. What is that? That we have, uh, let's see, whatever, wherever, right? We have whatever, and we have what, 
right? And we have when and we have how, right? So a lot of WH words guys can you know start that, okay? So guys, I got an exercise for you, but before that, do we have any questions? No. We're good? All right, so I'm going to send some screenshots, guys, to the WhatsApp, to the WhatsApp group. All right, uh, let me stop sharing here so I can take the screenshots. And what you're gonna do, guys? Okay, let me send, let me send the screenshots, the screenshots first. And uh, what we are going to do. is this, okay? I want you to discuss how you feel when this happens because when you talk about these topics, you automatically use, you know, noun clauses or relative clauses without even noticing, okay? So those are some pictures and obviously, right, you can determine what that is. I'll show you in a moment, guys, hold on. And you can even use these phrases to start the conversation. Okay. All right. So let me share the screen again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. So this is what I want you to do. Okay. So once you start practicing, guys, you're going to come over here and you're going to ask your, your partner how they feel when this happens, right? So, hey, how do you feel when someone, what is going on in this picture? The girl is speaking aloud, maybe. Okay, so how do you feel when, when, when what? I feel annoyed. Talking wild. Annoyed. So, okay, when, hold on. When hold someone on, but you're... is talking by a while. Uh, exactly, guys. In that the is meeting. the that is exactly right. That is, that is a clause. When someone is talking during a movie, okay. Hey, how do you feel when someone is talking during during a movie? And you're gonna say, hey, oh my god, it really annoys me when somebody is talking, um, you know, you know, during a movie because I want to pay attention to what the movies, you know, I want to pay attention to the movie, you know, and I don't want anybody interrupting my happiness, right, of watching um, Titanic. Right. I don't know. Whatever you want to come up with, guys. Okay. All right. So you're gonna do the same thing. So how do you, how do you feel when, how do you call this? Mm -hmm. Stressed. Stressed. Yeah. This is guys tangled. Basic. Right? Tangled. 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 Tangled, right? So you can say, how do you feel when you're how do you call those, you know, this this uh device? Earphones. Well, earphones. When your earphones, right? Get entangled. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or you can say, you know, stick together. No, well, no, then, you know, uh, get entangled would be better. Okay, all right. So, or how do you feel when, when? What What's going on here? This is San Salvador, guys. <laughs> <laughs> can find a parking lot. Space. No, 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 this is not, no, that's not what's going on here. Cool. Something darker. A guy is who, who is uh, occupying two parts. Uh, no, car. no, I want good grammar, guys. So tell me, what do we say here? When someone is parking. When someone <clears throat> is using. Is using two parkings? Two spots. Repeat guys, spots. Two spots. Okay. The when two parking. Spots. Okay. Right? Two spots when parking. Okay. All right. So you, I gave you guys a couple of phrases that you can use to practice this. Okay. Sounds good. 
All right, any questions, guys, on what we're going to do? Yes. All right, let's go then. I'm going to get you into the breakout rooms and we're going to practice. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go. Let's go, guys. Everybody join, guys, because otherwise people get, you know, into the breakout rooms without couples. So I need everybody to join, okay? Selena and Daniel. Daniel. All right, girls, let me hear you. Hello, Selena. Hello, Selena. Oh, Selena. Oh. Hola, hola. Hello. <laughs> okay. Hello. My Hello? my my mic is no function. But it's okay. But it's okay. Let, let's let's start. I think, yeah. Hello, Sandra. No, <laughs> my mic. My mic is bad now. <laughs> okay. I have trouble with my my computer. It's yeah. not. It's it's. It's bad, I think. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. Um, have you seen? The... Este tengo clase de inglés. Gracias hoy. <laughs> bueno, okay. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Bueno. Ay, disculpe. Hold on. Hold on. Excuse me. Excuse me, Sandra. But now I am. Um, it's my birthday. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Have you seen the pictures already? Okay. Um, we here. We have a um picture. Yes. And we are answer this picture. How do you feel uh -huh. when this happened? Yes, of course. Uh -huh. Okay. Fine. Just imagine. You want to? You you want to start? Okay, just imagine that you are in a in a movie. Uh, well, in in the cinema, you know. So, uh, someone begins uh, speaking on the on the cell phone, you know. Mm -hmm. And and it uh, you cannot concentrate in the in the movie because of the of the noise. You know. How do you feel? Okay. When, uh, when this happened. I feel um. Like uh, um, I understand because ah, we we can answer the phone when when we are to to have a an emergency an emergency emergency or uh -huh. something like that. But but when the girls or or one person is talking about, I feel so. Um, angry, angry. I think. How how do you feel? I feel angry. Really. Angry, yeah. <laughs> I feel angry, and and sometimes uh, I I lost my patient. Your patience. Patient, my uh -huh. patient, and uh, I feel like that. Oh yes, okay. that's the same for me. <laughs> yeah. Yes, of course. Um, because we want to be uh, quietly watching, okay? And that yeah. is <laughs> that is why I I feel annoyed, but yeah. extremely annoyed. Uh, some some people um, some people uh, don't don't have um, cortes, uh, courtesy uh -huh. or or like. Uh, um, Bernard. 
purchase? Uh, like a, I don't know, regla de cortesía. Uh, wow. I don't know what. Good manners. Good. Yeah, that's good just manners. good manners, yes. Okay, good manners. okay. Yes. Good manners. This yes. is a new word. Uh -huh. Okay. The manners is something like we say educated. In, in, in okay. Spanish, we say it like this. Okay. Well, okay. Okay. And thank you. Thank you, Sandra. You're welcome. And the in the second one, in the second picture, yeah, we see uh um some ear earphones uh, entangled. Earphone. <laughs> earphone. Earphone. Uh huh. How oh, I feel so. I don't know. I I, I can explain, but. Oh, sometimes I am uh, only for Bluetooth instead of yeah. our problem. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That is a, a, a really. Uh, <laughs> ah, no. no. Sorry. The next question. The next question. I can see. Ah, <clears throat> what do you feel when you see uh someone what that someone is parking is it's using two spots, two spots in a parking park, in the parking? Mm -hmm. oh my in my, I I that question that situation is very is very annoying annoying because we have to. <clears throat> to be we have to be some conscient or conscious. I don't know how to <clears throat> see about the 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 space to 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 get um to get in the parking me too I feel so frustrated because uh, <clears throat> sometimes when I went to the mall, um, it's normal to find that situations. The mall is crowded, and you try to find a, a, a spot of parking, mm -hmm. and you find that situation. You around, 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 in order to find a spot in the parking, mm -hmm. and, you, and you see that situation, for me, it's annoying me. It's annoying me even though when find some people in a handicapped spot in the parking. It's, it annoys me. Repeat, it annoys me. It annoys me. me. It annoys me. It's right? No, no, it annoys me. It, it, it annoys me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's annoying me when you find a someone uh, in a handicap spot in the parking even though when someone uh in a pregnant spot oh my god he, he, suddenly you you watch a, a boy to get out from the car oh my god it's annoying me i don't know what do you think about I can hear you. Are you mute? Sorry, it's, my song is uh, <laughs> okay. in the in the uh, in the kitchen. Ah, uh, yes, it's really frequently to see that situation, and uh, we have to to be patient, uh, but uh, search another another spots. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no. And the other one, what is that? Uh, it's annoying. It's, it's annoying. a drive me crazy. It's another phrase to use. Hey guys, how's the practice going over here? Uh, we have already finished. Yeah, we're done. All of them? Okay, right. 
All right. Let me uh, check out the other guys and just talk, guys, okay? I'll be back with you. I just need to check on the other guys, okay? Hold on. Okay. Five. Okay. Because when... I can't stand it. I can't stand it. Okay. Yes. Yes, or when you go to the church and you need to sit in in the in the bench, the bench, bench. And some people stuck um, gum, and you uh, and I stuck in the in my dress. <laughs> I don't know when yes. when I sit. Yes. Well, in my case, I feel bad because people are not polite. Yes. 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 So, okay. some some people is very crazy because they uh, have a, a gun in your mouth, mouth, and only um only throw away the 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 piece. Eh, how do you say education? There are um, polite. Yeah, polite. Yes. Polite. Yeah. Yes. Because some people don't 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 yes. are polite because it's annoying. Yes. It's annoying me when the people do that. Yes. Okay. Okay. We finish with the four picture. The four picture. Yes. Okay. The first is the the people in the movie watching the movie. The yes. second is the air air. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right, guys. So, uh, do we have any questions about classes, guys? We're good. All right. It's okay. So let's go over. Let's let's go over to some. Mm -hmm. Where you find a uh, a detailed information about the topics? Because for me it's so interesting. I need to to dedicate a lot of time in order to learn about that more. Down classes and well, uh, you, you can go, just Google them. Okay. To be honest, yes. Um, you you I, I imagine you use a a, a book. In yeah, order to we do, we do, get the we, information. I got the information from the plat well, I know the information already, uh -huh. right? But uh everything like my book, if you want to put it like that, is oh, my okay. is a platform, right? Ah, okay. Right. Yeah, but I um <clears throat> I have been explaining these topics for a very long time, man. So but yeah, <laughs> if you Google noun clauses, right, then of course you're gonna yeah. come up with that, right? So it's yeah, see, dependent clause, right? Uh, it takes the place of a noun. Mm -hmm. It can be subjects or objects or subject mm -hmm. complements, right? So what I was explaining, right? Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, it's just I can't. I would. I would. Um, back then, you know, there was a time where we would play like we would be more interactive with uh, things that we could use within the class. You know, like we would be, we we were able to use like other material. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what happened. There was like some copyright issues, and then they 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 uh they prohibited the use of um of external websites. You know. Yeah. Then so then everything had to be our own creation. In any okay. case, guys, I want to go before we leave, guys, because I have another class right now. I want to go over the platform real quick. Uh, have you all finished section number two? Two eight. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. All right, let's go over yes. section 
Let's go over the know. answers from section number three then, okay? Unless somebody needs yes. help section here. Section three, please. Okay. Did you do this one? Did you I finish did. the exercise? Yes. Yes, yes. 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 yes did you? The midterm yes. two. I'm not yet, but I tried no. to, to finish. Okay. All right. So. All right. So this if one, you, I if... think. <laughs> well, this one, you. You don't have to type in anything, right? So that's going to be yeah. a little bit easier. I got it. Now, this one, I give you the answers already, right? Uh, so this one right here, I give you the answers too. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so we're just missing this one, right? So what is the yeah. answer for number one? It's a number. It's a, a number. All right, so I'm just going to show the answer, right? So answer. Only the number two. Two, two four, two, one, three. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. La clave de mi cajero, right? So anyways, so anyways, so this is, so this is the answer, right? So section number three, have you started doing section number three? Section three. Oh, yes. actually, actually, the the midterm. The midterm finished, right? the midterm the midterm finished midterm. too. All right. What is the what is the answer? Well, actually, I'm gonna give you the answers because of the time here. Okay, guys. So the answer for number one is going to be unlike people in France, Japanese people generally study American English. Yes. Uh, answer for number two. Well, some people love online shopping. Some people have never shopped online. Number three. Unlike teenagers, my brothers, my brother prefers books to the internet, right? Uh, number four, Sue's parents are traditional, except for the fact that they want her to have a career. I'd like to know why more people don't care about good manners. How can people afford to buy homes in the city is beyond me. What I don't get is why more upscale restaurants don't serve vegetarian dishes. And I wonder if people will ever stop fighting each other, right? So these are the answers, guys. Oh, what happened there? Oh, the, the one. Mm, Online like people maybe. in France, Japanese. Online like yeah, people yeah. in France, right? In France. Uh -huh. But that's the answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's the answer. That's All right, answer. next one. Well, this one is circle the words. Yeah, now this one right one. here. What is the, well, keep or stay, right? Your, if you want to. You want to keep your face. All right. So if you want to keep, well, I'm not going to give you the answer for this one because this one is really self-explanatory. Um, the answers that I'm giving you are the ones that you might have issues with when, when typing them in, okay? Yes. And these ones, you're okay. What about yeah. drive? Okay, so this yeah. one is drive. Uh, makes right make makes 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 make 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 or drive right and get get all right okay. there you go and then this one right here it's only about choosing false true yeah that's my reading yes right so guys by now you should have completed section one two and the midterm right Yes. So, but, uh, all right. No, but the the three two they yeah. told this morning. Well, yeah, yes. Uh, for yeah. next right. well, Thursday gonna, in we, the morning. We're gonna go over section number three's answers in uh, tomorrow. Okay. Yes. And uh, all right. So no worries, guys. We're good. All right. Thank you very much, guys. I have another class now. I'll see you okay. tomorrow. Okay. Thank see you, guys. See you, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.